After becoming the Lord of the Canary Islands, conquering Lanzarote, Fuerteventura, and El Hierro, Jean de Bethencourt left the Canary Islands, leaving Maciot de Bethencourt, his nephew, in charge. The monk Pierre Bontier and priest Jean La Verrière, who were brought with Bethencourt to chronicle the expedition, wrote that, After Monsieur de Bethencourt had taken leave of all his people and of the whole country and had set sail, all the inhabitants were to be seen weeping and lamenting, the Canarians more bitterly than the Normans. But the grief and lamentations of both were distressing to witness. Their hearts told them that they would never see him again, and that he would never return to the country. And they were right, for he never came back again. But though these dreaded it, they prayed him to return without delay. Others threw themselves into the sea, holding on to the vessel in which Monsieur de Bethencourt was. No one would suppose to what an extent they took it to heart. Our Lord and Master, they cried, why do you leave us? We shall never see you again. Alas, what will the country do, deserted by a sovereign so wise and so prudent, who has put so many souls into the road of eternal salvation? This is in reference to the efforts of the conquerors to convert the native Guanche to Christianity. As for how Jean de Bethencourt felt about his departure, the priests then write, It was more painful to him to go away and leave them, for he felt inwardly sure that he should never return. His heart was so full that he could not speak, even to bid them farewell. Not to anyone, whether relative or friend, did he find it in his power to utter the word adieu, for when he tried to say it, his heart was so full that he could not speak. And now that he is starting, and that they have hoisted sail, may God, of his grace, be pleased to guard him from evil and disaster. Whether or not their sentiments were embellished to betray their lord Bethencourt admirably, the priest authors of the Canarian were right. Jean de Bethencourt would never again set foot on the Canary Islands after his final 1411-1412 to departure. The lordship of the Canary Islands, which Bethencourt enterprised to conquer and build, would not endure the ramifications of the Hundred Years' War that ravaged his native home of Normandy and his submission to the English as a vassal, as he could not be the vassal of both Castile and England, and could not keep both the Canaries and his Norman lands, so the Canaries were donated to the Count of Niebla in 1418.